with thousands of stocks to choose from when trading how do investors know which companies line up with their trading plan one of the most powerful tools of the metastock fundamental analyzer is its scanning capabilities with the ability to narrow down your list of potential stocks to trade you're able to concentrate trading efforts on opportunities that are more likely to make money let's quickly run through the fundamental scanner tab and the different ways to use it with metastock first let's take a look at the scan type Scan type includes predefined symbol lists. These predefined symbol lists help cut out scanning time and allow you to scan a specific list of securities that have already met a specific criteria. So for example, if you are looking for stocks with increasing annual revenue, then you'll want to select stocks with increasing annual revenue. The fundamental analyzer also allows you to continue to filter down your list using price, and certain fundamental data criteria. For this example, we're going to go ahead and set some of those filtering criteria. For our min price, we'll select 5. Max price, we'll select 55. We'll keep the minimum average volume at 300. And now let's set some of our fundamental data criteria. For the minimum EPS, we're going to select 0.5. For the minimum PE ratio, let's select 5. For the minimum dividend yield, let's select 1. And for the minimum beta, let's select 1.2. In addition to filtering criteria, you have the option to show X number of results after your scan is complete. You can show 100, 250, 500, or 1,000. For this example, we're going to go ahead and select 100. To begin our scan, we're going to select Scan All. Each column of information is sortable, so if you're interested in a particular fundamental data field, you can click on the header of that column to sort it in ascending or descending order, for example the EPS. Next, we're going to take our top 100 from our fundamental scan and export our list for use in Metastock and run a technical scan to get buy and sell signals. To do that, we're going to use our export list feature. There are two options in the export list as a symbol file which is compatible for use in Metastock or as an Excel file. So we're going to go ahead and use the symbol file so that we can use Metastock. We'll select export list. The default name will be scanresults.sim. Select save and we're going to save it to the default location of the downloader program. Next let's open up Metastock and we'll run a technical analysis scan to look for buy and sell signals on the list of symbols we exported from the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. To do this, we're going to use the Explorer Power Tool. We're going to select one of our new systems, so let's select the Stochastic Pops and click Explore. If you have a list of symbols already in your Select Securities dialog box, go ahead and click on Remove All. We're going to go to Add Securities and click on Quote Center. You'll see the folder that is named Scan Results. This is the list from the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. Let's open it up. We're going to select all of the securities and click on OK to begin our scan. Now that our technical analysis scan is complete, let's click on Reports. Under the Results tab are the companies that met the technical analysis criteria. You'll notice here that we're looking for two conditions, a buy and a short. Any security that has a 1 in the buy column has generated a buy signal on the current bar. So let's take a closer look at the chart. We'll select the first one in the list and let's open up the chart. We're going to close the report window and we're going to close the Explorer window. Next we're going to attach our Expert Advisor which will actually display buy and sell symbols on the chart. So let's open up our Power Tool, the Expert Advisor. We're going to scroll through the list and find the matching Expert Advisor. We're going to highlight the Stochastic Pops and Attach. As you can see on the current bar, 
our technical analysis scan found a buy signal, which is confirmed by our expert advisor. Next, we're going to take a list of symbols from a technical analysis scan in Metastock and do further analysis in the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. We're going to return to the Power Tool, the Explorer, and we're going to access the reports of the scan that we just ran. Since we have four buy candidates here, we're going to take these list of four securities and we're going to use them in our Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. To do this, you simply click on Save List to Clipboard, and let's open up the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. In the Fundamental Scanner tab, in the Custom Symbol list, we're going to right-click and select Paste, which will paste in the four symbols from our Technical Analysis Scan in Metastock. You can also type in symbols into this box as well. You can clear the list and start over with the Clear List button. I'm going to go ahead and use the reset and we're going to reset the fundamental data filtering criteria and I'm going to just set something for our minimum PE ratio so we're going to zero out the price and since a higher EPA ratio indicates that this particular security may be outperforming the market I'm going to set my minimum PE to 2.0 and to begin our custom scan we're going to select the scan custom. Since I'm interested in a higher PE ratio let's take a closer look at the second symbol in our list and to view fundamental data on the symbol just click onto the symbol in the symbol list which will quickly return you to the fundamental tab displaying vital fundamental information. This concludes our demonstration of the Metastock Fundamental Analyzer. If you have additional questions regarding this amazing new addition to the Metastock line of trading tools, please contact a product professional. Thank you and happy trading.